Can we share Power BI reports for free? In my introduction to Power BI last week, I mentioned that downloading Power BI desktop is free. And you may be wondering, is it really free? I will attempt to answer this question in this video so you can understand what's truly free and what's not truly free in regards to Power BI. Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Susilowati. I'm an Excel and Power BI enthusiast with decades of business experience in the field of reporting, planning, and analysis. Teaching is a passion that I pursue in my spare time, and I publish a weekly YouTube video tutorial every Thursday about how you can use Excel and Power BI to make your life easier at work. More specifically, this video will cover five things. Firstly, I will explain the difference between Power BI Desktop and Power BI Surface. Then I will explain the difference between free and the paid license. I will also show you how to publish your Power BI report to the Power BI service and how you can share your report with other people in the Power BI service. Lastly, I will explain an alternative way of sharing your Power BI reports with other people for free when they don't have the paid premium license. If you're already familiar with Power BI, please feel free to skip through the timeline and go straight to part five. For now, let's start with part one, the difference between Power BI Desktop and Power BI Surface. Power BI Desktop is a software that can be downloaded for free and need to be installed in your desktop. You can use this software to make new Power BI reports, create visualizations such as interactive charts, tables, and slices. Whereas Power BI Surface is a surface that sits on the web. It's a place in the cloud owned by Microsoft where people can publish and store their reports. In Power BI Surface, you can then define who you want to share your Power BI reports with. Therefore, in terms of workflow, people would design their report on Power BI Desktop first, save it, and once they finish, they can then choose to publish their report to the surface. In a way, it is very similar to making YouTube video. You would first compile your video using video making software in your desktop. Once you finish, you would then publish the file to YouTube where you have a choice to either make it private, i.e. only for you to see, or to make it available to selected people or to everyone. In reality, not everyone wants to become YouTube video creator. Many people are simply happy to watch other people's video in YouTube. Now, similarly, uh, with Power BI, not everyone wants to be a Power BI report creator. Many people are happy to use the reports that have been created by others and already published in Power BI Surface. And this is where Microsoft Power BI pricing model is really creative. Whilst Microsoft is giving away Power BI desktop software for everyone to use and create Power BI report for free, Microsoft requires you to buy the premium license if you want to view reports that has been published in the Power BI service by other people. In other words, if you are on free license, you can only see your own report. If you purchase the premium license, then you can see other people's report as long as they give you permission to view the reports. Good news, premium license is not expensive. It is only nine US dollar per month. For the rest of this video, I will show you how to publish your Power BI report to Power BI Surface and how to give permission to other people to view your reports. I'm recycling the Power BI report that we made together last week. If you missed my video from last week, here's the link. Once you have developed your reports in Power BI Desktop, and save it and then publish it. Share it in Power BI Surface by clicking this button, Publish. Click it and it will prompt you to enter a destination. What you need to enter in here is the name of the workspace that you want this report to sit within Power BI Surface. Now there is a default workspace that is created for everyone called My Workspace, or you can also create your own workspace in the surface. So for now, I'll just click My Workspace. 
and I'll show you later how to create your own workspace if you want to. And just wait. Mm -hmm. It's publishing it. And when it's done, it will say success. And click this hyperlink to preview it. And that's what I'm going to do. And it brings me to my reports and it automatically open Power BI uh, Surface. So Power BI Surface looks pretty much similar to Power BI Desktop with uh, several exceptions. So you've got a different button in here. Shared with me is reports that other people may have created and wanted to share with you. You get to see that in here in the shared with me. And then learn. This is really useful. This is a great learning center. If you want to learn more about Power BI, click this. And you know, this is the best way to learn. Yeah. And this is workspaces. Yeah, the next button is workspaces. So I told you earlier, my workspace is the, is the default workspace that has been created by Microsoft for everyone. And you can create your own uh, workspace, your new one, and it will appear in here. You can see I've, I have created many workspaces before. Now, if you want to create your new, uh, your own workspace, just click this create workspace and um, type whatever name that you want in here and and then hit save basically. I'm, I'm not going to do that today, so I, uh, feel free to play around. Yeah. But uh, what I wanted to do is go back to the previous reports that um, we, cre we have created. So uh, the steps to do that is go to my workspace and then this is the previous one that I've created, example two. So I'm back there. And what I want to do is show you how can you share uh, this report with other people? And it's really simple. All you need to do is hit this share button, click it, and then you can enter uh, your friend's name in here. And once you have done that, you can click the send button. For example, I'm going to pick um, someone that I know that has Power BI license. Okay, for example, so I've got a friend named Pinaki. Now, I'm not really going to send him um, because this is just our play. But if you want to, you can type a message in here and say, check out this new report. Something like that. So you can type uh, an email, a quick email for him, and then hit send. And once you have done it, um, he will get an email that says there is this new report available for him to use. Yeah. So really simple um, to publish reports into Power BI and to share it with other people. Is there a way to share your Power BI report with other people who don't own the premium license? Yes, there is. However, the sharing cannot be done via Power BI Surface. You can share your PBIX file just like you can share your Excel file with others. You can email or save your file in a shared directory and let other people open it. Anyone that has downloaded the Power BI desktop software will be able to open and view your PBIX file. I hope you have learned something useful this week and I'll see you next time.